Picasso here what's going on thanks for joining me in another video and today guys I'm going to basically show uh, my setup you know how I sit around my desk do my work get these videos uh, edited and so forth and yeah basically just a little bit of a setup tour okay again my official desk has not arrived yet uh, I heard that it should be here on Friday um, this coming Friday so I mean it's an awesome desk I can't wait for it to get here it's been like over a month waiting for this desk to get here but if when it does get here you know um, it'll be worth the wait so let's go ahead let's jump in okay, guys, let's so look at my this setup. is my station uh, first of all we have my bowl chair here which is I don't know I guess it's like a bowl chair or something but uh, pretty cool let's go ahead and bring it out let's spin it around so you see it's got like that, um, it's good for posture and so forth, um, my belt's in there and stuff like that. So yeah, that's my chair, very, very comfortable. Let's go in a little bit more. Now this is the desk that I'm currently using at the moment, okay, it's just a regular desk, nothing special. So we have, uh, you know, we have my G3, my Nexus 6, 1M7 over there. We have these, I love these four lamps because, you know, um, one thing is that I wanted to work on lighting a lot, so I, so I got these uh, LED lights, they're very bright, I'm going to go ahead and kind of just turn them on a little bit, so you guys can see, of course they're LED lights, so yeah, they're very bright. Um, so that's good it gives me a lot of lighting um, these two here are for on the desk here's the next one over here so you know it gets good lighting they're very flexible so that definitely helps so that's how I do my videos there on the desk uh, for face cam vids I use this little guy here I don't remember the name of it but it's a Logitech I think CS525 um, I don't think it shoots in 1080p or it actually or it does or something like that I, I don't really remember right now but it either shoots in 720p or 1080p but then I do have uh, a, um, a I do have software that can convert it from whatever it is to 1080p to get the best quality I have two backlights here that I use uh, for face so when I'm doing gaming or something like that and let's see over here over here we have my we have my Samson uh, uh, mic okay with the flip out tripod I don't know if you guys have seen that um, then we have my motor 360 um, okay uh, this is just a I like this thing here because it spins sometimes I put the the light on it and just spin it you know it's pretty cool and let us not forget of course this guy right here that we are looking at this of course is my insignia TV um, it is strictly just for you know personal use like uh, my gameplay or something like that sometimes I stream my laptop to it we'll get to my laptop in a second um, but yeah it's an insignia it is I think it's a 24 inch very small so it just fits on my TV uh, on my desk right here um, yeah, so 24 inch, and there is the living room TV, and I think this, I think this is a 55 inch, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, I think that's a 55 inch, cause, and this is a 24 inch. When I'm doing serious gaming, I just put my PS4 over that TV right there. Um, yeah, my office space right now is in the living room, so if you see right there, there's the little couch. There's Princess just laying on the couch. <laughs> so she's being a good girl being very quiet while daddy uh, does the video okay uh, back to it so we have the one 360 um, we have my mouse here it's from black web black web makes some great stuff um, I have a four uh, uh, what's it called a four dock uh, USB thing again it's from Insignia I realize I have a lot of stuff from Insignia so that's pretty cool of course we have my Nexus player uh, oops. my Nexus player uh, gamepad controller okay it still has the plastic on it I haven't really been using it yet waiting for you know to get some excellent internet connection here so I can start to do some uh, gaming and some other stuff on there um, on a side note I did actually just root my Nexus player which is actually right here here's my Nexus player under Andy there's my Nexus player right there you guys can see this little circle sort of hockey puck thing uh, that is my Nexus player. I see the little light beeping on there. So that's my Nexus player. Andy was in an accident. 
um, he fought Junior or Prince, my son, and he lost. So that's why it's almost like that. But on the side note, I did root my Nexus player, and uh, I did unlock the bootloader, and um, starting to side load some stuff to it. But again, waiting on good internet. Uh, the Nexus player remote, you know, pretty cool. Okay. And uh, yeah, so that's it with the Nexus player. We got the webcam. We got this stuff. You know, before we go further, here are my back wall posters. So on the right side, oh, first up here, let's talk about up here. These are, this is going to be the wall of Princess's drawings right here. Okay, so here you can see my lovely daughter. She drew some houses and some beds. She does very great drawings. This is me and her mother. I'm in orange and Princess is, um, sorry, and Empress 10 is in yellow. So very good job to Princess. Shout out to Princess. Those are some excellent drawings. Now over here we have my Minecraft poster. This is cool. It has a lot of Minecraft uh, uh, guys in it as well. Wait, Princess, please. Wait, Princess. I'm, I'm working. So uh, my Minecraft poster here with a lot of Minecraft uh, guys, of course. This axe here, this isn't here. Um, I stupidly, uh, uh, you know, taped the axe. As you guys can see, I taped it to the poster. And I'm afraid if I take it off, it's going to destroy the poster. So that's pretty cool. Moving over, we have, of course, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now, it's one of the greatest Call of Duties to me. Um, it reminds me very much of Ghost and Black Ops 2 mixed together and also just some new stuff. So pretty cool. A lot of people didn't like Ghost. I don't know why. I kind of like Ghost. It was cool. And then we have the great I Am Batman. <laughs> I am Batman. So we have that over there. Okay, let's get moving on to my laptop. Now, yes, you guys probably may have seen me go through a few laptops. Um, I recently got an HP with Beats Audio uh, Pistol. Um, I recently had an HP, but it wasn't beefy enough to work with my uh, 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 Elgato. Right, so I needed something to do that because I do a lot of gaming as well. So I have here my Alienware. Um, I, th it, I think it's just a 14 inch. Oh, I want you guys to see that, but it's kind of bright. Uh, can you get? Oh, okay, there we go. That's my background. That is me getting the game winning kill with the that pistol. I don't remember the name of it right now. And um, yeah, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. So I took a snapshot there. Um, this is my Alienware. Uh, it's it's perfect. It's perfect. It's heavy, but it's perfect. Okay, let's go ahead and close that down. Let's see what we got back here. Now over here, this is more of the wires and stuff. Over right there, we got my uh, all-in-one printer. It's a scanner, uh, printer, uh, 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 scanner, printer, copier, that sort of stuff. Good. And then just a little figurine there. Um, yeah. We have my LG uh, G Watch still in the box. It is in the box. I put it back in the box. Um, I'm actually planning on selling it because I'm not really using it. So um, it just makes sense to sell it, I guess. Um, then we have uh, this little creeper guy over here <laughs> for all the Minecraft lovers out there. Yeah, it's a little creeper guy. He does move his head turns and well, his head turns and goes up and down and stuff like that. So pretty cool. Um, this came with it I think oh I just realized what it is it's a diamond ore <laughs> I've had this for the longest time and I did not realize well not the longest time but when I got the creeper guy I did not realize that it was a diamond ore okay then we have over here my beautiful PS4 okay and my PS4 controllers and they are charging we have a few games here and we have also for my Vita uh, Injustice uh, Advanced Warfare for the PS4 Grand Theft Auto, I Frankenstein, which is just a Blu-ray, and then we have Killzone, we have Second Son, and on the bottom here, we have Titanfall for the PC, and I gotta say, I love Titanfall, it's a very different game, but I love it, and back here we have my Elgato, I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but yeah, there it is, there's my Elgato back there, okay, um, there we have a tripod for my camera, get a little bit of focus there, um, and this USB thing in there, this is for my, sorry, if I can get a good look down there, this is for this blue headphones right here, right here, this is the 
Afterglow. I did put a picture of this up on uh, Instagram, so if you follow me on Instagram, you know about this already. It's the Afterglow Bluetooth headset uh, with retractable mic. So it's very cool. It has two different modes. Uh, one mode, uh, you can get it uh, uh, basically, you can get it uh, extra bass. So basically, extra bass. Uh, again, the mic is retractable, as you see right there, and you can, and it is flexible. And you can just, sorry, I'm doing this with one hand here. You can just go ahead and push the mic back in. Turning it on is simply just holding this little button. And blue is my favorite color, and I mean it matches my. Uh, it's in pairing mode. I don't know why it's doing that, but that's okay. Well, the PS4 isn't on, so I think that's why. So it glows blue. My area glows blue. Uh, the PS4 sort of glows. Um, what else glows? <laughs> a lot of things glow, but yeah, it's cool. So I really like that. That's my afterglow. Okay, and continuing, what we got else here? Uh, we got, of course, my Beats. My Beats uh, Studio. So my Beats Studio headphones down there. Um, this is where my PS Vita is. Whole bunch of chords. Um, it's pretty dark down there. You're probably not going to be able to see anything. Uh, my Moto 360 box. My Samson box is down there. Um, I actually have another Elgato which is down here as well. Um, I might be doing a giveaway on that, or I might be keeping it, not sure. Uh, this little guy is a very cool magnetic uh, uh, Bluetooth keyboard, which I actually have hooked up to my uh, uh, Nexus player and to my tablet. Um, it does work for PC, iOS, and Android. So very cool. Um, instead of typing with the remote or with the gamepad, you know, um, what else we got down here? I actually have, I think this is the, uh, the keypad. Yeah, the keypad for the uh, PS4. I have that too. I uh, don't really use it that much. Um, yeah, and then of course under the desk is just a lot of cords and stuff. And there's a bag with some other stuff and some more cords and... Yeah, some other stuff. A lot of tech that I don't use. I keep it in this little bag right here. Then I have this little compartment under the desk that is filled with uh, some tools, some papers, a lot of cords. Anytime I can't find cords, this is where I come in and that's where they are. Here's my game pad that I use. Um, I think I did a review on this recently. If not, uh, stay tuned for that review. That's a very cool uh, remote for Android tablets and phones. Some more papers and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so that is pretty much it. This is my workstation, my temporary setup. Um, it's not complete yet. Again, this Friday my desk should be coming, and when my desk comes, it's going to be amazing. I'm probably going to, there's Princess, <laughs> I'm probably going to be showing the setup. Uh, and Junior said he wants to say hello. <coughs> this is supposed to be a setup video, but they want to get. Okay, Junior One. Okay, so that's gonna wrap it up, guys. All right. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That's gonna wrap it up for today. As always, leave a thumbs up. Really appreciate it, guys. I'm your humble host, Picasso. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I'm out.